this is Katie. Happy Thanksgiving. I know it's Friday when you're watching this, but I'm recording this on Thanksgiving. It's like 10:30 in the morning, and I wanted to vlog today. And so today is mostly gonna be like a regular day for me because my nine to five job, I am an independent contractor, so I do work Monday through Friday, no matter if it's a holiday or not. And I'm totally okay with that because I honestly do love my job, so it's totally fine. And it's gonna be kind of slow today anyway, because it's Thanksgiving. But I'm at my mom's house right now in New York, and yeah, we are just gonna be like making food. Well, mostly my mom makes the food because she loves to cook and she's really good at it. If you tried to put me in charge of making Thanksgiving dinner, it would not be good. So yeah, I'll just film throughout the day of like the food and us eating and stuff. And also I have a giveaway for you guys in today's video. And yeah, I think that's it for now. I just wanted to start this video now. I'm gonna get back to work and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, hey guys. So I just wanna talk to you guys about this giveaway that I'm gonna be doing. And so it's by this company, Yode. That's how you pronounce it, it's called Yode. And they're a wooden watch company. And so I was able to receive a free watch from them, which I ordered a watch for my dad for Christmas. And so I just wanna show this watch to you really, really quickly. It comes with a cleaning cloth. And this watch in particular that I chose comes with this beautiful cedar box. So let me take this out and show you guys. It actually even has like a little drawer on the bottom. And so the watch that I ordered for my dad, I had him actually pick it out, is the Conway. This is held in by magnets and they're kind of strong. Okay. This is the Conway watch in Coso, Coso wood and a midnight blue face. And it is honestly like when I saw this, I feel like I gasped. Even when I just saw this presentation, it's absolutely beautiful presentation. And then this watch is just like, I don't really know much about wooden watches, but this just seems so well made and so beautiful. And so I got that for my dad for Christmas and Yod was actually kind enough to want to do a giveaway with me. And so here, let me talk to you guys for a second. And so I'm gonna have a link listed right in my description box. It's gonna be like right there when you just scroll down a little bit. One of you guys is gonna be able to win a $189 gift certificate, which can get you a free watch for about, like about half of their watches are under $189. So you can get a free watch, or if you wanna get one of their more expensive watches over the $200 range, you can put the $189 towards one of those watches, that makes sense. But their most popular watch is $189, so that would be like perfect. And the winner is going to get free sizing on the watch and free shipping, so that's pretty cool too. And so if you guys want to enter again, just click that little link in the description and you, I think you just fill out like your name and your email or something and you can enter to win that free gift certificate to get yourself either a free watch or a much, much discounted watch. And then also, if you use the code Katie Carney, anyone, you'll get $25 off of a watch purchase if you do that right now. And so this is gonna last two weeks from today. And also that coupon code Katie Carney will also work for two weeks if you want to get a discount on a watch. But anyway, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful gift for someone who, you know, is into wooden watches or who collects watches. And yeah, so if you wanna enter, all the instructions are gonna be in the description and the links and everything like that. And so I just, again, wanted to thank Yod for gifting me this for my father for Christmas and for doing this giveaway with me. And so, yeah. Cool, and obviously you can go check out, they have tons of different styles, different colors and everything. So you can go check out their website, which is actually woodwatches.com. And yeah, so thanks again to Yod, and so I'm gonna work a little bit, and then I have some footage of making the antipas that I'm gonna show you guys, and then we're gonna eat, and then yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Can you guys hear us in the background? Hey mom, I'm vlogging, what are you watching right now? What? What are you watching? I'm watching Katie Carney online. <laughs> potatoes and things and that's very boring and so I'm getting such a lift from watching you online <laughs> and then when I miss you which I always do I can jump in here and there you are present <laughs> love, <you. laughs> love you mom <laughs> my mom was like do you mind if I watch your video right now because she didn't watch the video from Sunday yet and I'm like no that's fine and she's like oh and I like the idea that I can watch it and then when I watch your videos I miss you but now I can just go into the living room and see you right mama Oh, there you are! <laughs> There's my baby! <laughs> Thank you, honey. You made me a happy mama! Good mama! Happy Thanksgiving to everyone! Oh, yeah! Happy Thanksgiving, mommy! Oh, Pepper's saying happy Thanksgiving, too! <laughs> you guys hear Pepper barking? Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Pepper! Peppy, come here! Hello! Say happy Thanksgiving! Oh, oh! Yeah, say it, say it! You know how to say it, I tell you! <laughs> Say happy Thanksgiving. Come on. Say. Happy Thanksgiving. Okay, say. Happy Thanksgiving. Roof, roof. Pepper. Roof, roof. Pepper. 
Pepper. Hi. <laughs> okay, so it is like 12.30. I'm still just kind of going back and forth between working and watching YouTube and stuff because work is pretty slow today just because it's Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna make antipasto soon, which is like the one thing that like I know how to make. I can make omelets. An antipast, so two things. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna make that soon-ish, and then I'll show you guys that. And cool, okay. Okay, so we're about to make the antipast. My mom already cut up the cold cuts and the cheese and the oranges, and I'm just gonna show you guys how we make this. This is what, grandpa's recipe? Yes, well, grandma, grandma. Grandma's recipe? Yeah. And we make it for every holiday. Well, I make it when I'm home, but if not, my mom makes it herself. But it is 10 ingredients. Do you know the 10 ingredients by heart, Mama? <laughs> it's oranges, salami, pepperoni, prosciutto. But they didn't have prosciutto, so my mom just got like some other Italian. ham. Mm -hmm. And then it is artichoke. artichoke hearts and roasted red peppers, black olives and green olives, uh, provolone, but like a hard provolone, like in the little, like a block of it, and then anchovies. I already ate half of it, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm about to eat half of this too. <laughs> And so, all right, I'll kind of prop you guys up so you can see us making it. I know that the, mama, can we sh can we close those blinds so the sun is not blaring through maybe? And then I'll prop you guys right. up. And did you point out that Pepper sits at the bottom in case anything drops? <laughs> Pepper will sit here and then eat all the food. All right, that lighting is a little bit better. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, Pepper. Let's see if you guys can mommy, sit. This is my spot, because you are sloppy and you drop things over the edge. <laughs> All right, there is no tripod in this house and I don't want to go outside right now. It's so that's going to be the angle. Bitter. Oh yeah, what is it, like 20 degrees or something stupid it's out right now? very cold. Look at my mom's hands figuring things out. <laughs> and then look at Pepper already waiting for food. <laughs> okay, so first is, oh gosh, oranges. All right, tell me if I need another one so I'll start. Cutting. Oh my God, the table doesn't have gluten on it, right? We're gonna put that one aside. <laughs> All right. So what you do is can you get me a paper towel, Mama? Yeah. After eating the salami. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you line the bottom with oranges, which just sliced up oranges, and then you put salami. Mama, what is this chopping job you did? <laughs> what is this slicing job? <laughs> Make that face again, please. <laughs> Put it down. No, no, this is fine. Someone's just gonna get a lot of salami and I, that's gonna be me. So then, yeah, you just like slice up a bunch of salami. You want me to hold the camera? No, because I don't want to be in the picture right now. <laughs> this knife is not as, oh, but I should be. Yes, my I, mom is beautiful. I haven't yeah, right. changed my clothes in like a week and a half. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm just still wearing just my pajamas. Just shower this morning. I didn't take a shower, you did? I haven't taken a shower yet today. Oh, yet. Do. I don't think I'm gonna take a shower today. So, you just kind of throw a layer of salami and then we do the pepperoni. Does it need more? Cause I could cut no, more. No, uh uh. No, this is totally fine. I just didn't know how much. So if there's gonna be a lot of people, we'll make two of these, but this is really just gonna be me, my mom, one of my brothers and my dad well, for maybe like two days. Well. All right, and then we put this gross non prosciutto like ham. That. I'm just like kidding. That. I'm just kidding. I've never had it. I'm just kidding. I've never had it. I've had it. No, I haven't. If it's not prosciutto, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> I've just never had it. But anyway, some kind of Italian ham. So you put this. I feel like we always put a little bit less of the ham. Yeah, we do. Usually because we buy prosciutto and it's really expensive. Yeah. So we usually just buy a little but bit less. But it's also very um, sharp. Oh, okay. Prosciutto is sharper. Okay, so we put a little bit less of the prosciutto. Or, well, this is just ham, but... I mean, prosciutto's ham, whatever. Anyway, put a little bit less of this. I feel like this is like a little bald spot. Put ham in it. Okay, oh no, this is a bald spot too. Put ham in it, okay. So then it just kind of looks like that. Then we do the artichoke hearts and the roasted red peppers. Wait, don't put your fingers Sorry. in Sorry! <laughs> I tried I to know. grab it, which was stupid. <laughs> I'll tell you one, because those ends, I don't know if we want the ends in or not. Oh yeah, they're mushy. I yeah, think they're I edible. They're, they're all edible, but I don't know how they taste. Cause we usually just get the artichoke hearts. Yeah. Well, these are still artichoke hearts. Yeah. Try one. Okay. So, well, try it. Try it, and you'll see. You do so like <laughs> green eggs and. <anyway. laughs> 
Okay. All right. Put the artichoke hearts on. You want to cut up one more maybe, Mom? Yeah. So, yeah, when it comes to these kind of things, it's not really a layer. We don't cover it. We cover it with the oranges. We cover it with the salami and the pepperoni. And then the prosciutto is a little bit less. And then these things are just a little bit less. Kind of like a very hefty sprinkling. And then my mom just, what would you eat? Cheese? Mm. <laughs> See, this is why I'm never hungry for dinner. I know. We're never I even know. hungry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to slice up the red peppers. And this is, yeah, this is one of my favorite parts, I think. Okay. So mommy's going to slice up some of those. This knife I'm going to go. eat a piece of cheese. I didn't do it. You could have I'm whatever you would like, because I do the same thing. Oh. I already ate. I'm already full. <laughs> I hope we're eating at like 5 o'clock. No, we're eating at 2.30. We're eating, yeah, like well. a little over an hour. I think we're going to need more peppers, Mama. Yeah. That's why I bought the little jar, because I can't really say these, so I thought, watch your fingers. We'll just put them all on. Yeah. It's like all of our favorite part anyway. <laughs> the parts that I usually eat the most of okay. are like the salami, the peppers, the cheese, and the olives, I think. That's kind of what I like to get. Okay. And when I like... Do you want the rest of them? Let me just put the rest yeah, over. Just, <laughs> I like that we said a hefty oh. sprinkling. This is basically a layer, but you know. Yeah, but we don't there's, Yeah, there's waste. no point of wasting it. And we will eat this. This is something that like... Have we ever thrown out any antipasti? Never. Like we always <laughs> just eat it. And I put it, it, it lasts for a little while. Time. Yeah. It does. And I put a smaller bowl this time. Yeah. So it's, it might be a little bit taller. It just depends on like the size of the plate you use. What else? Olives now. Which green or red? They both kind of just go on at the same time. I tricked you. Oh. <laughs> 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 Dang it. I <laughs> didn't know. I, now I, I hear that you said red. Right, you said green or red. Well, these Mom are green tricked red. me. These are green. Yeah. Red. So we just kind of drain them a little bit, and we'll put maybe about half a jar of green olives, maybe the whole thing. It's just kind of put on, you know, if you like green olives the best, it. put on all of them. <laughs> but then the olives, you gotta watch out because they get tricky because they try to roll off. Okay. But we <laughs> we need them. more right here. Oh. <laughs> there. Just throw them on. There. Yeah. And now the black olives, olives which are my favorites. Just comparatively. The green olives are a little bit too, like, to me. Yeah, but that's what spices up the antipasto. Yeah. Mom. You're... <laughs> that's how you roll them on. You roll them on. <laughs> roll in. You sing that song too. <laughs> roll in on the river. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do this stuff when you make an antipasto. You, yeah, you gotta, gotta sing. sing you gotta talk the river. to the food. Yeah. <laughs> Is everyone happy with their places? <laughs> Does anyone? Oh, this one feels alone. This one okay. feels alone. He wants Wait, to go up there. He wants more olives because we can't leave four olives in the jar. Oh, maybe they, they want to be eaten. Very left out. Well, maybe they want to be eaten. Mama. Well, they can be. But oh. they don't want to be left in the jar. I ate the one that rolled to me. <laughs> yeah. This one wants to be over here. Okay. Any more? Now the cheese. I think we need more cheese. I think we need more cheese because we ate half of it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We only ate a few. I said I'm just kidding as I take a piece and eat it. <laughs> this is. I love this. It's like sharp provolone. I feel like if you, you can get sliced provolone, it doesn't really taste like anything. But no. real provolone is so I put good. Those few? Yes, mommy. We don't want those olives to feel left out. Maybe you feel left out. Maybe you feel left out. <laughs> okay. Oh. We're going to need more cheese, I can tell you right now. Uh huh. Go ahead. Okay. We take all this cheese. Yes, our hands are clean. Don't worry. We wash them a hundred times. We do. And our hands are gluten free. <laughs> Yeah, mommy's gluten free too. Yeah. It's very satisfying to watch through the camera. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't take any cheese. I didn't take any cheese either. That's not what's in my mouth right now. I think we need more. I didn't eat anything. We, we need more? I think we need more cheese. Okay. <laughs> really, just go by what you like the most and then put more of it on. That's why it always comes out so tall, because we love everything the most. <laughs> All of our be... things are favorites. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Why is this so satisfying watching you slice it? You don't have to do it. <laughs> you like a lazy ass. Hey! <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm so excited. This is my favorite time of the year, Kate, when we make antipasto. Now the anchovies. Now. <laughs> Who likes the anchovies here? No, no one. one. 
Why do we put anchovies on top? Because you have to. It's the rule. For the flavor. The flavor and because Grandpa likes them. Yeah. And Dad eats and them. Dad likes them. Yeah. But it was because. And what am I doing now? Putting a little bit of the oil. It's anchovy oil. They've anchovy oil. Blech. They add flavor to, you know, the antipasto. That's yeah. So you got to put them on. That's just the rule. You know, we don't really eat them. We kind of eat around them. Dad will eat okay. some of them. Pepper. Come on, pep, pep. Okay. So now Pepper gets some leftover ham. Okay. And that's it. This is the antipasto. And this is our little appetizer to Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter. Yum, 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 yum. All right, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. I'm relying on your love and can you let me soon? So that if I'm left with nothing at the bottom, you can be the one to come and help me up. You're the one that got responding to the calling. When my heart is heavy, you are sure you to hold tight. Hard to belly all the good in the cold times. So keep me warm before the freeze of the night grows. Body heat to more degrees if we lie close. I think I'm gonna have blueberry pie. What are you gonna have, mama? I can have everything. <laughs> hey guys, so we just finished dessert and my mom and I are just gonna watch some TV and that's kind of just the end of the day. And so I'm just gonna close the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed your Thanksgiving as well. And subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. So I'm holding on to you, to you, to you. So I'm holding on to you.